basically is your uh, checklist for your characters. Okay. Now here, uh, something called as the it factor. Okay. Now it factor is basically uh, whenever you're working on yourself, for example, you take your protagonist first. Now, whenever you are working on your protagonist, always remember that you show a characteristic in your protagonist that shows that the protagonist is ready to fight with whatever is there. You remember the movie Bahubali? In that, Bahubali is shown as a very, very strong personality. Yeah, everyone in the uh, in their uh, uh, this um, uh, in their country, everyone likes him. Okay, and he is very powerful. He is very brave. Okay, so it is. It was something where whatever comes on his way, he is ready to take it. Okay, same with antagonist also. You have to show that whatever the antagonist is doing, they have the power, they have the resources to do, it, and they have the will to do it. Okay, so maybe the antagonist is super, super powerful. Okay, or super rich. Okay, so they can take that risk of whatever changes that they are doing in the story. So they have that thing, that, that zeal in them to do whatever they're, they're working on. Okay, if you show a very, you know, a very dull personality, a very useless personality, not ready to do anything. And then there is a, uh, there is a uh, you know, um, a problem in the story, then how will that person take it? Okay, that person will not be able to take that particular uh, problem and try to overcome it. Okay, so you have to give that personalities to your characters. Okay, now realism, that is what I've been telling you. Whenever you are working on any of the nature, personality or the work that they are doing, the way that they are living, even in the house also. If your characters are there in the house and they have, you know, they have a family, say parents are there, brothers, sisters are there. So how their family is behaving with them. Okay, if they are living in, the, in a particular house, then the, how the house is. Okay, so that is what you have to give a reality to the uh, to the characters. Okay, then obviously goals are there. That is what I told you. Each and every character should have a goal. Protagonist is the goal of the protagonist will maneuver your story. Okay, so now the goal of the character is, for example, the protagonist is to get rich. The protagonist is very poor. Their goal is to get rich. Okay, and now the friends or the family members or the colleagues of that particular protagonist will push him or rather which will help them uh, to achieve their goal. Okay, so those are the goals. Okay, and how do they take that? What do they achieve those goals? Maybe with bad, they will do bad things or maybe they'll do good things. How do they achieve that? That is the whole story. Here for everyone, goals. Then comes your passion. Passion is how passionate they are to achieve their goals. Okay, how much, uh, uh, how much uh, uh, motivated are they to achieve their goals? That is what you have to work on. Okay, so if the character of the protagonist wants to become rich, so how it is put it put how, why the character the protagonist wants to re uh, become rich. Next is what all steps. Till what length can that protagonist go to achieve their goals? That is the passion. Okay. <laughs> then the op opposition is there. Yes, at antagonist is there or antagonism is there. Okay. Now they are the they are the things that is going to get something bad in the story, which is very much required. Okay. A good, good type of story, if it is just, you know, everything is happening good in the life of the protagonist. It is going to become boring after some time. Okay. So that is why you have to give get in something that will create some drama in the story. Okay. Then comes relatability. That is what whenever you're working on your characters, situations, settings, okay, give it a real life um, persona. Okay. You can always say, suppose, for example, that your uh, that your characters are situated in Ahmedabad, okay, or say Gujarat. Now, people, most of your readers might know how Gujarat looks like, how people stay in Gujarat, what type of food they eat, okay, what type of personality they have. They are usually, you know, quite thin, and they are they are very uh, they are very watch they are very focused. Okay, they're very money oriented also because they, they, they want to save their money. They have ideas to save the money. 
okay and that is what you need to bring in that realism in your story so that people can easily relate themselves or the people they know to those characters or those situations okay that will get in more and more um, uh, this um, readers for you chetan bhagat stories yeah so now the first story remember 5 point someone okay where they talked about that a group of friends are there in a particular college and it is very difficult to uh, go uh, to get admission there and uh, the education system is like this people are not you know they 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 are they, are, they just want to study and get good marks okay then there is the protagonist falls in love with a uh, with a girl who is a who's a daughter of the principal okay so now that is very very real people who who people who have been you know the college students not even not only boys but girls also they can relate to it okay because this is how the life of the way that it was shown that how the uh, uh, students are interacting with each other how the teachers are everything people can relate to it okay that is why uh, the five point someone was one of the best selling books for uh, for chetan bhagat okay then the strength then obviously you have to talk about that is what i told you you have to talk about the type of uh, power that the character holds okay if they are doing something any character not only antagonist protagonist also if they are doing something they should that should be in their power that should, that is what they should be now in that um, in the story where i am telling you about uphar cinema uh there the uh, the uh, parents are shown from a middle class family okay upper middle class family and um, they they have obviously because it is against a, a cinema who is very very rich okay the owners of that cinema are very rich so now these people they want to take a take action against it now they are fighting to give justice to their daughter okay so that is only in their power but the um upar cinema owners they are very powerful people okay so with whatever um uh, you know the information that these their uh, the parents gather they have a, a opposite reaction to it okay that is what they get it from the owners of upar cinema okay because they are politically connected they have lots of money so they can take that action against them okay clear for everyone then you have external versus interior goals now obviously every type of um, protagonist every type of characters they have some goals okay now those goals can be divided into external goals or internal goals or you can have only one type of goal it is up to you okay now external goals are something uh, which will which is the main goal okay the, that the character wants to become rich okay now interior goals are whenever there are few obstacles are there so you want to overcome those obstacles you know, small small fights that are that are there or say uh, you know uh, now the uh, protagonist wants to go to a bigger city okay so now how will they go to bigger city how will they uh, get money for that where will they stay so all these are small fights that the protagonist has to make okay and then finally once these small fights are there to achieve a bigger goal that is the external goal okay clear then high stakes high stakes are basically um uh, any see in your story you cannot always show that the protagonist to one okay whenever there is a war there are small battles in between okay in those battles sometimes the protagonist wins sometimes the antagonist also wins okay now what are the consequences of that loss for the protagonist that is what also you can include it is not compulsory again these everything is not compulsory you can take out points from there okay so you can include what now what is the what are the consequences How, will the protagonist suffer okay so that is what is your high stake so if the protagonist fail what will happen if in the war the bigger war okay if the protagonist fails then what will happen with their life okay that is what is your high stakes 
okay clear for everyone okay now let us work on our uh, how can we create our characters powerful okay now usually this is the writer's perspective okay in this you and me we cannot help each other uh, whenever you are writing about a character that is what i told you earlier also you have to give a personality that type of personality to your character which shows that when there is a you know when when the story moves on okay they have that uh, that zeal in them to go with the flow of the story okay whatever incidents good or bad that happens in the characters lives they have that zeal they have that passion to enjoy it or maybe to fight against it okay so that is what you can work on creating a powerful character even if the character is from a very very you know maybe that is what i told you they are from a poor background okay they are they are very poor now the character wants to become rich so now that becoming rich that character should have the passion the zeal to take up risk to take up decisions which will let them achieve that goal okay a a useless character who just only think that okay agar main aisa karunga to main mere ko paisa mil jayega okay so if this is what they think and they don't do anything they are just lying bad, you know they are laid back people so that characters will not be able to do it okay only characters where you show that they have that that you know that uh, fire in them to take up any type of risk or any type of work any type of uh, uh, activity okay that will let them uh, uh, let them in the path to achieve their objective okay so you have to give them realism same way if i want to achieve something okay so maybe i want to become the best writer in the world so whatever things that i am doing right now it will all let me achieve that particular thing and i have to work for it i cannot just lie down and sit that are yaar kal kar lenge kal kar lenge so that is not possible okay so i have i should have that fire in me to achieve my goal same way should be there with your characters okay clear for everyone now let us work on our different types of uh, stories here so first thing is your flash fiction okay now first one is your flash fiction okay in the flash fiction uh uh usually whenever you are writing the client or the company or for whomever you are writing they will give you a particular number of words okay now those words can start from 15 words and it can go up to 500 words also okay that is a flash fiction flash fiction means short okay short stories which are fiction okay that is what is flash fiction here it is if you get a uh, get a story to write within 15 to 20 words okay then how will you write it that is what is your flash fiction okay in the flash fiction it is mostly based on one character okay you cannot have two to three characters there okay so how that characters you know thinking or their actions are there accordingly you will talk about that character okay so in that you can discuss about that is all if all the points are not important okay name you can discuss about name age height weight hair colors eye color complexion and characters uh, personality okay their physical personality so you can discuss about this everything is not required okay you can talk about any one of them or two or three of them okay in the flash fiction basically the it is also known as <laughs> let me just write it down for you a flash fiction is can be from anywhere from 15 words to 500 words okay usually these are known as very very small stories okay short stories okay and their the other names are sudden fiction short stories micro fiction mm. 
and you have mini stories. Okay. Now that is what this flash fiction is, where you can talk about the characters, these things. Okay. You can talk about the name, age, height, eye color, complexion, all these things. Okay. How do they look like? So only in two to three words. That's it. It's according to the number of words that if you have, if you have got 500 words to write, so you can give at least a, you know, 30 or 40 words or 50 words character, uh, sorry, paragraph about the character's personality. Okay, but if it is 15 to 20 words, then you can only give, we say, two to three words. Okay, uh, that okay. Uh, Raj is uh, Raj uh, has a personality. Uh, Raj is a very extrovert personality. Okay, so that is done. Okay, or say with eye with the uh, dark black eyes, uh, Raj looked straight towards his goals. So what you did, you had talked about the eye color. Okay, clear. For everyone, this is how you will talk about in the flash fiction. Okay, then you have short stories. In the short stories, you basically have around 500 to 1000 words or it can go till 1500 words. Okay, so these are your short stories where you can talk about the character's backstory also because you have got the word limit with you. Okay, that is at your side. So you can talk about the characters, um, uh, you know, look and feel the personality of the character. You can talk about it. Their backstory also, if it is required, you can talk about it. <laughs> their identification marks are also there. Facial features, their uh, their body build up, their physical uh, hand and legs movements. Okay. Then how do they smell like? You can talk about that also. How do they speak? What is the tone of their voice? Okay. What is what their voice sounds like okay then their mannerisms maybe their personalities uh then you can talk about how do they behave with other people okay all these things you can talk about short stories are anywhere between 500 to 1500 words okay clear for everyone now you have novellas and novels this we have i have given you a bit of this uh, introduction earlier also now, novellas are where, where you will only talk about one character's life, okay? Uh, maybe there are two or three characters which will, which will help in the, uh, you know, in the conversation or maybe uh, there might be some supporting characters which will help the story to maneuver. But everything is based on that particular character, okay? Uh, now, there is a novel uh, by the name... Mm, very famous novel. Uh, it is about a girl uh, during the civil uh, 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 this uh, war that was going on in US. Uh, forgetting that name of that novel. Mm. Okay, I will tell you the name of that novel. Uh, in that, that is a very, very, you know, very thick novel, and it is about talking only about her life. So, starting from how she was in, uh, how she was at the age of eight or nine years old, till she was when she died. The whole story is about her life. Okay, though there are different characters in between, but everything revolves around her. Every scene, every chapter, everything is around her. So that is basically a novella. Okay, uh, there was a movie also based on that. Uh, uh, novel okay uh, something related to summer mm, I cannot remember the name uh, I will tell you I'm very old novel very old novel okay I still remember the color of that novel it was red in color okay and a girls uh, that uh, it was during that uh, uh, civil war times so the, the type of dress that they wear and the hat and the uh, this thing, um, the umbrella that they used to carry. Yeah, sure. They're very small umbrella. So I still remember the uh, the look and feel of that novel and very, very nice novel. So that was basically a novella where everything was based on that on that character. Okay. That character is the protagonist. That character is an antagonist only. Okay. Now there is one more movie, Karthik calling Karthik. If you have um, watched that movie, uh, Farhan Akhtar is there and Deepika Padukone is there. Okay. Now, Farhan Akhtar is the person who is a protagonist also and antagonist also in the story. 
okay very very good story i will not talk about the you know the acting of the of the actors but the story line is very very nice okay you should definitely go and watch it you can watch it on i think youtube also it is a very old movie so it might be available on youtube or any other ott platform okay and uh, this story also where all the things revolves around uh, farhan akhtar okay deepika padukone is there because you know in indian movies you usually need to have a actress with you okay but uh, the the it, 90% of the uh, movie that revolves around farhan akhtar okay so that is what is novella clear for everyone now you have novels novels where there are different types of characters are involved okay so maybe there are two to three protagonists or their supporting cast is there same with antagonist also and their supporting crew is there okay so these things are there and you might talk about every one of them okay so suppose a protagonist friend is there maybe the friend is not the main character it's a supporting crew but yes you can talk about that friend also okay if it is required in your story so that is what novel novel makes the uh, the um, stories more complex okay it gives more color to the stories because there are different characters are involved there okay so that is what is your novel in your novels and both in your novellas also you can talk about the the overall feeling of your character okay you are going to give a 3d sketch that is what we have discussed you have to give a 3d sketch full total top to bottom okay how their personality is how their physical appearance is how do they behave with people what is their nature is what are their mannerisms are okay that is what everything you will talk about okay so because there is no word limit as such everything is based on your story okay so that is why you have to discuss about each and everything about your characters okay so you have to give them some personalities you have to give them some goals you have to give them some uh, uh, this uh, some nature okay talk everything about their look and feel of the characters so that your audience can easily relate to those characters your audience can imagine those characters okay uh, i don't know how many of you read this uh, novel thousand splendid sun uh, it was it is by khalid husaini very very nice uh, novel okay now this novel is based on afghanistan how taliban's came and how they changed afghanistan the first time when taliban came okay after that uh, that american soldiers they uh, raided in the country before that okay and how the afghanistan was before taliban came okay and now i i as a reader i have never been to that place okay but i could imagine the way uh, khalid husaini detailed out the people there the uh, the, um, the situations there you know? yeah the places there that is what i could imagine it and i could actually feel that you know i can see afghanistan in front of my eyes okay maybe my thinking is different from if you are going to read that novel maybe your imagination might be different but yes for you that is your imagination for me this is my imagination as a reader okay so i can imagine it that yes i am there in afghanistan and i can see what is happening with the people there how talibans are acting okay so that is what is how you are going to work on creating a realism in your stories clear for everyone so whenever see always remember whenever you are thinking of writing a story my advice is even if you are not a reader please do start reading novels okay you can start with some inspirational books motivational books okay you can start with if you are interested in uh, say in your religious books also start reading them okay these books they help you a lot in creating a structure for your own book okay uh now these are the things that you are going to include that is what everything in your novels and novellas where you can talk about all these things about your characters 
okay siblings name if they're you know that is what if there are some supporting crew also you will talk about their mother's name father's name siblings name neighborhood their wherever they are staying you will talk about that their favorite sports okay their favorite food if such a situation is there where the characters are sitting and eating okay so you can talk about now the character the protagonist say no i don't want to eat this this is very very bad i want say pasta okay so now the audience will come to know that the character's uh, favorite food is pasta okay and uh, uh, said so if you talk about their religion so you can you can give out details about you know what type of religion they have okay financial situation now suppose you can if you are talking about the house that they live in the type of work their family members are doing okay so that shows the financial situation of the house or of the protagonist okay clear for everyone now book series are there book series are where where you will have three or four books in the same series those books are interrelated okay something like if you have read about amish tripathi's shiva trilogy is there okay and then uh, there is a uh, 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 scene of ikshvasku then you have sita ravan and then there is fourth book also okay this is again by amish tripathi only uh then you have this khalid husaini's books thousand splendid sun and there is one more book after that so these are also quite uh, interrelated to each other okay and uh, then you have few books by jeffrey archer sydney sheldon okay sydney sheldon uh, the series um see i'm forgetting the name on that series the movies are also uh, based on that anyone remember sydney sheldon's uh, that movie that novel it was a series of 3 to 4 books okay though uh, at the end the the mystery was solved in each book but again the same character the same protagonist was there in the other book also okay there was a series of 3 to 4 books like that okay so these are called as your book series now suppose if you are writing a book series always remember the type of characters that you have built in the first book same characters if you are including the same characters in the second book also please remember the personality the details that you have given about your character so always that is what plot is for okay that is why plots are very important which will give you an insight of each and everything that is happening in your story okay so that is why work on those personalities keep the personalities same okay um and also you can talk about so suppose if there is a ending okay every book should have a ending okay but it should give a uh uh what should i say a break for the second book okay something like where uh, a mystery is there okay a mystery is being solved um, by the protagonist and the supporting crew and there is antagonist also all these things are there okay who is trying to stop the protagonist from solving the mystery okay now those things are there and finally the though the part of the mystery is solved at the end okay whatever from the starting the main point was to solve that particular thing okay but once that mystery was solved it gave it opened to a next mystery that is your second book okay sherlock holmes sherlock holmes stories novels if you read not the short stories that is for the kids but if you read their full novels they are basically few books are you know uh, this uh, series of books where a mystery is solved but then it gave it it gave a way to open for the second mystery they could not understand what happened okay clear so that is your second book and so on you can work on third fourth or fifth as well okay clear now for everyone how you can work on your book series 